Hey guys, good afternoon, Stuck on Collectibles, my name is Brian, um, it's actually been a while since I filmed the last video, I'll upload that one after I'm done with this, and this one I'll upload probably tomorrow. This is a continuation of um, the Steel City Con haul, um, I wanted to get the comic books bagged up, put away. Uh, we made lunch. Now the wife and my son are in the living room watching the Blu-ray player we just bought for Christmas because he bought broke the old one. So it would uh, do like the Hulu, the Netflix and stuff like that, but it wouldn't play any discs. So we went out and bought a new one last night. Um, so we'll continue with the haul, which is fun. Um, uh, two of these pops I got along, if you watched the last video, I did a trade, I'll tell you which ones they are then, I'll, I'll put them separate because the figures are with it, but this one I bought separately, it's the Specialty Series Man at Arms, I needed to go with my He-Man set, even though this one was pictured for the original set, which I don't have any of those, probably can't afford them, I didn't see any down at the show. The only old, old pop that I really wanted, I seen a Panthro, but they wanted 70 bucks for him. Uh, no. My limit is, I think the highest I ever paid for a pop was 30 bucks. I probably won't go any higher than that. Unless I buy a mystery box with a chance of a grail or something like that. And they have a list of a couple of grails that I'm hoping for. But then, I also bought Evil Lynn from the new one, New Wave. I still need quite a few from this wave. Um, I still need Merman, Orko, and Stratos. Plus, I need the entire original wave, plus like Scared Low and Mossman. But these two came in with the trade. I wanted this one for a while. This is Zombie Morbius. I know he's not worth much, but I think he looks freaking awesome. I wish he had both of them, but he didn't have both of them, because I'd have got both of them. There's both of them. But he had the zombie. The only problem is the sticker, I guess the glue's letting loose a little bit, but I'm going to put him in a pop case here in a couple minutes, so to me it doesn't bother me. And then I bought the original Pennywise. Now, when it comes to the movie It, as of right now, I know a lot of people are not going to like this, but I prefer the original television series. Um, the cast I liked, uh, the way Pennywise looked. I mean, the new Pennywise looked awesome. Don't get me wrong. I enjoyed the movie. I have the movie. But I still prefer the original one. Probably because I, I watched it, what was it, two-night event or something like that. It might change once part two comes out, and I'm sitting there, being able to sit there and watch both parts. But for right now, the storyline for the first one, I liked a little bit better. Now, to finish out the trade I did for the comic books, I got Wolverine. And believe it or not, when I was doing the trade with this guy, uh, this was the only figure that he had in Marvel's Legends, and he had two of these. So I just he said, yeah, yeah, we'll put that towards that. No, no, no problem. So, uh, put these back in the bag real quick. Because they're already been, I keep a checklist of what I buy, of what I want. So, they've already been marked off. And the pop protectors I ordered off of Amazon just came today. So, I'll put them on, in there and either sit them on my shelf or I'll go in a box. I don't have room to really display a lot of stuff. I mean, one video I'll just I'll show you what all I I room I got. I mean, I got a big we in our house. It's a two bedroom house. Uh, there's a section that leads to our cellar. It's one of those like dungeons things that we got. Uh, we're having it blocked off. God can't do it till spring, where we can complete the floor. Uh, and put a light in right now. It's dark constantly except for a little hand light that we use, but uh, 
that's it. I mean, we got uh, the two bedrooms, a living room, kitchen, bathroom, and the attic. I wouldn't put anything up there. And our basement, uh, we're in a flood zone, so yeah, nothing's going down there. Now, the last two things I bought at the con, I was very shocked. I mean, the, these aren't uh, high price ones, but uh, these are older Marvel Legends. And I got them for $10 a piece. I wish the guy had more. I would have sat there and bought these all day for $10 a piece. But I got Wonder Man. He comes with a little yellow jacket. It's from the Legendary Rider series. It comes with a comic book and everything. I mean, 10 bucks. Yeah. I mean, I wish they would have had more from this set because they had... Uh, here, let me just show you. That series. I mean, I don't know. Got the first appearance of Thing, Hulkbuster, Iron Man, Taskmaster, Vengeance, Scarlet Witch, Ultron, and the Wonder Man, and Logan on a bike. <sighs> That's the only one he had from that wave. But I was happy to buy it, 10 bucks a piece. These were the last two he had. And this next one, really nice one. What makes this one nice, come on, bag stay there. Is it comes with a sentinel leg. No. Uh, was it Galactus leg. Sorry. And uh, it's bullseye. Ten bucks. And this thing's heavy. And I mean. With this wave. You can see right there. You got. Grey Hulk. Nightcrawler. Bullseye. War Machine. Deathlock. Professor X. And Doctor Strange. Man, if I could have got Nightcrawler, Professor X, and Doctor Strange, oh man, that would have been awesome. But ten bucks a piece, yeah, they'll never get opened though. But I'm when Marvel Legends first came out, uh, way back when, the only place you could really find them was GameStop, and I had the first couple waves. Um, I even had the Rhode Island exclusive uh, Iron Man, the blue one. The only one I was missing from Wave 1 was Toad. And no matter what I did, I could not find him anywhere. Uh, so, and I had to complete second series, even with the Doom Bot. Um, I forget who was all in the third. I think I went to a Wave 5 as far as I went, and then I couldn't afford to buy anymore but and then when we bought our first house or was it this house I don't remember but I sold most of that stuff and a lot of my collection back then to get a house so to me back then it was worth it now that's what I got at the show Steel City Com trust me if you go to Facebook you can look them up uh, They'll show you tons of pictures of stuff that was going on. Um, I don't know if my wife put it on my Facebook page, but uh, if you go through th go through my Facebook page and see my wife's page, I'm sure you'll see tons of pictures too. Uh, Alex got a picture with a girl dressed up as Harley Quinn, um, and I got a phone call after my mom got the picture and she goes I don't like that picture I said well it's just a girl dressed as Harley Quinn and because Alex is a little over two years old my mom thinks she should be done with the bottle uh, doctor I uh, think she should still be on the bottle because he's a little underweight not by much but a little bit and uh, so it is what it is um, we started potty training we won't go into that one but that was the pickups from Steel City Con. We are planning on going in April. Um, now, I will probably still go down on Friday night, stay over there. I don't know if I will go to the show Saturday, but I hopefully will be going Sunday. I will go Sunday um, because you get the better deals on Sunday. Yeah, there's... A lot of stuff that you missed out on Friday and Saturday when they sell out, but whatever's left over, 
you get incredible deals. Now, when we left the show, for you, Nate, I, I was looking online to see if there was any Walgreens in the area. Because uh, I passed one. It was about, uh, well, I'd say about 15 miles away from where the hotel was. And I was going to said I was going to stop it on the way down. I couldn't find the other one that was in the area. Uh, basically, uh, we went down the road, but some guy said it was back further than didn't have time but the one we stopped at they didn't have any Marvel Legends worth buying um, but they had a Star Wars Black Series K2SO I still needed this one box is in decent shape lady told me it's been sitting there for about a year Wow! said I've been looking for this one forever I said I went to the show and they didn't have any I said I stop here because my wife wants uh, some juice for her son and she needed some headache medicine and here he was. <sighs> but uh, yeah, that was from the trip. I didn't pick up anything else from the trip. Now before I went on the trip, I had ordered some stuff from Walmart.com. Yes, Walmart.com. I ordered, um, every once in a while you go in there, they have Marvel Legends for like $10, $11 a piece. Some of them are still available in stores at full price. Some are not. So, when they go down to that price, I buy one or two at a time. I usually try to do that once every week or two weeks because um, then you just go over and pick it up. But the first one I got was Domino. Um, I think this is the first one I have of this wave. I think I paid 11 bucks. And in the old days when I was a collector, I would worry about like these bent flaps. But I don't worry about it anymore. It's still factory sealed. She's in awesome shape. There's no real, I don't see any paint damage to her. And I usually check them out before I leave the store. Because there's this problem, I return it. But the reason why I ordered these two is... Yes, nephews, if you're watching this, I got your pops from Walmart. Stuff that's on your list, I got. I won't show them because they are Christmas gifts. And I say that because a lot of them watch my videos. So, so yeah, you guys need to start giving thumbs up. But the other one I got is an older one. Um... This makes the second from this wave that I got, the Abomination Wave. I got another Wonder Man. Believe it or not, I don't know which one looks better. That's bullseye. Oh, come on. Hmm. I think the newer one looks better, actually. Here's both of them together. I think this one looks better. But it is what it is. But uh, those were the Marvel Legends I got off of Walmart.com. Now, as I said, we went to the store. Uh, we had to buy wrapping paper. Decorations for the windows, for the house, and a few other things. And when I was done getting the Blu-ray player, I had to check out the pop section. Lucky me. But, now, I'm going to tell you one thing. It is a chase. Oh, look. And a lot of people think, think it's a cheap chase. I don't care. I wanted this. I have the one that goes with this chase set. I like to get the third one in this set, but, uh, and it's not exactly mint, I guess. It's got a couple flaws to the box, but it's the loose Skywalker on speeder bike. And, I mean, I'm going to try to buy, they say they make cases for those, and I'd like to buy one to put that in. It may not be a perfect box, 
but it's perfect enough for me. And when I was looking through the pumps, I mean, they got a lot of the Fortnite. Uh, they had a couple of the Aquaman. They didn't have any of their exclusives for the Aquaman, but um, they had a cable from um, Deadpool 2. And I'm trying to think. They had a couple It Pops, but it was the kids. It wasn't Pennywise. And uh, I just happened to look down, and I seen Leia's there. And I was like, ugh, yeah. There's four of them there, and then they come four in a case. So I was thinking, yeah, my luck, there ain't going to be one. I moved the first one, and there it was sitting. So I was like, yay! I put it in a cart and caught up to my wife, and she goes, what'd you find? I said, I got a chase in the wild. She goes, okay. So. But uh, that's it. Um... That was Steel City Con and after. Now, because I do this every once in a while. Now, I'm not get this one. But, come here. Um, but, since you guys went through this far, and you sat down through the this video and hopefully the last video um i'm gonna do a giveaway because the first one was at uh what 22 minutes the second video um we're at 16 over 17 minutes now i'm gonna do a giveaway i don't have it yet but this weekend i will go out and find something to fill this Now, to enter the giveaway, the only thing you have to do is like the video, comment on the video, what type of pop you like. Do you like Marvel, DC, Harry Potter? Uh, now, I can't guarantee that if you like something, that's what you're going to get. Um, I was going to go out this weekend with one friend and if I don't see anything interesting Tuesday I'm going out with another friend and we go to different places all the time looking for things uh, so I will find something to fill this now this is for the con uh, for the US and Canada unless you want to pay for the shipping of the pop which I don't like doing that to anybody else um, what I'll do um, if you're from another country, uh, you will get something, but it won't be a pop. I will make sure that you get something. Um, so anybody can enter. Nephews, that goes for you too. If you guys want to enter, you guys can enter. Um, heck, it could be a Walking Dead pop. I don't know. Could be a Chase. Could be a store exclusive. Could be a mystery box. Well, it is going to be a mystery box, but uh, I will do one pop to anyone in the continental U.S. or Canada. Uh, and if you don't want the pop, say you want prize B. I'll do prize B for everybody. But if you want the pop, so what you got to do is you got to like the video. You have to be subscribed. You have to put in the comments. What kind of pops that you like? You don't like pops? Put don't like pops. That's all you gotta do. But if you like pops, you can put like DC, Marvel, Star Wars, Star Trek, Buffy the Vampire Slayer, um, Yu-Gi-Oh! Did they do Yu-Gi-Oh! pops? Mm -hmm. Um, That's it. And I'll let this go for about two weeks. How about this? I will let this go. Hmm, what is today's date? I think it's the 12th, 13th. Some 12th, 13th. I will let this go till the 24th. So Christmas Eve, I will. It ends the 23rd. So the 24th, I can send a message to the person. Um, 
I can write, do the video and tell you who won on Christmas Eve. So the 23rd is the cutoff date. Uh, you have to do it on this video. Um, tell me, you got, and I'm going to just do this one more time. Uh, you got to like the video. You got to be subscribed. You got to leave me a comment of what kind of pop you like. If you don't like pops, we have a prize B. So, you live outside the United States and Canada, you can get prize B. I don't know what that is yet. But I want to thank you all for tuning in. Uh, sorry that this video haul was two parts. But, hey, I had a good time. Uh, hopefully I'll find another con to go to before April. <laughs> if I do, it'll probably be a small one. But uh, if not, hopefully by April, I'm able to shoot something in the con. I'm still looking for some sort of software to connect clips. But till then, it's just going to be all raw. So thank you for tuning in. You guys have a good night. Bye.